Um, <laughs> look, someone's got to explain that decision. Someone has to explain that decision because looking at it again and with the referee's explanation, that's freaking wild. And let's also talk about that Saka potential penalty call, man. It gets real. Um, this was wild. So, before we did the UCL reaction show, I saw this and I was like, when you see something so wild, you're like, okay, maybe I didn't see that. So, the first thing you go to, like, it's such a wild thing, it's like, oh, no, no, the referee didn't blow his whistle. Okay, he just got the ball because surely he didn't just handle the ball and give it back. Like, it just looks as if, okay, misunderstanding, ref whistle wasn't blown. Then when we do this show, Money Mace, Arsenal fan, he says that, oh, the free kick has got, has got to be taken from the middle of the spot. So, Gabriel was giving the ball back so I could take it from the middle of, of the spot. I was like, okay. Weird, but okay, fine. Now, this was before, because when I saw the clip, it was with no sound. So when Moni May said that Gab um, Gabriel was giving the ball back to Real, it could be taken from the proper position. This was me not listening, sorry, me not watching the clip with sound. I watched it with sound. The referee clearly blows his whistle. Raya gives to Gabriel and Gabriel handles it. It's a handball. Through the laws of the, of the game, it is a handball. And we're going to get to why it is a handball and it says the explanation. But the referee blows the whistle. Raya passes the ball to Gabriel. Gabriel picks it up. Now, again, this is where Money Miss Arasno found you are wrong about this. So he said that if it was given, it would be like it would be a free kick inside of the box. No. A free kick into the box is if the keeper handles the ball out of the penalty area. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I do believe that yes, it's a handball call is if the keeper handles the ball out of the area, then you have like an indirect free kick inside the box. But if a if it's a, a handball, it's a handball. A hand unless I'm wrong. So are we saying that it's only a penalty if there is an attacking motion happening and then you handle the ball? My notion is that if an outfield player at any point handles the ball inside the penalty box, that's a penalty. And maybe I need to review the laws again, but that's a penalty. So if it's a penalty with Barn leading 2-1, Kane has a penalty and Kane is a pretty good penalty taker, notwithstanding what happened in Qatar, whether penalty went to freaking Neptune. 3-1, it's a very different discussion now. Because if it's 3-1, at best, it's 3-2. It's not 3-3. So it was a huge moment. This was a huge call. It doesn't make any sense. So people will say, nope, half up, you're wrong. Misunderstanding. Referee didn't really blow his whistle. If we speak to the referee, the referee will say, no, 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 no. Like, cap. Cap is on. No. So let's... So the only guy that can answer this is the referee. He is the arbitrator. He is the judge and jury of the football match. So he is the guy that has the answers. So ref, what up, baby? So Tuchel, the referee made a huge mistake. There was a penalty for handball. So yeah, so yeah, so I think rules and laws of the game, that's a penalty. I know it was a crazy situation. They put the ball down. He whistles and the defender takes the ball with his hands. What makes us really angry is the explanation on the pitch. He, referring to the referee, he told our players it was a kid's mistake. Huh? What? <laughs> Let's keep reading. And he wants to give a penalty for that in a Champions League quarterfinal. It's a horrible, horrible explanation. Kids mistake, adults mistake, whatever. We feel angry because it was a huge decision against us. 
He won't give a penalty for that in a Champions League quarterfinal. This is, put it this way. If this is a fact, and let's say we be going to court and we have witnesses and like we have like three, four band players who can be witnesses to say that the referee said this, he can never be allowed to ref again in this UC, UCL. Yeah. He, he, never. If he really said this, he must be banned from refereeing ever again. Because the what he would say is, look, I don't, I don't know what happened. Like, if he just sort of ignored the moment, didn't really know, know the moment, he didn't really acknowledge it, he didn't see it. Okay. If you didn't acknowledge it, that's still bad because you're still the judge, jury, arbitrator of, this. okay, but fine. Kids, you won't give it because it was a kid's mistake. And you can't give that kind of thing in the usual court of law. No, that, that's not how the law works. You see, if you start to reinterpret the law for, well, it's that, no. As a referee, it's black and white. It's binary. Now, there are a few things that are down to interpretation, which is where it's a foul. You see, the things that are a great ref referee is a foul. There are some referees that will give a foul for this, none for, for this. But in terms of handball, you blew the whistle, a player handled the ball in the box, there is no gray area there. There is no, oh, it was a mistake. No. This is the highest level of professional football. You see, if this was eight, nine, ten years old, okay, come on, he made a mistake. You know, okay, come on, they're 10, 11 years old. Like, the focus is not winning and losing. The focus here is just having fun. This is tiddlywinks. This is ringa, ringa, roses, a pocket full of horses. Row, row, row your boats gently down the sea. No, we're not rowing any boats here. Okay, we're not ringing any roses here, okay? We're not twinkling any freaking stars here. This is the UCL quarterfinal. This is the highest level of professional football. And you're saying that he made a kid's mistake? But he's not a kid, he's an adult. And he's a professional, playing in the Champions League quarterfinal, where there's so much at stake. Ban whose backs are against the wall, Tuchel, whose credibility is against the wall, they had a chance to have a penalty to go 3-1 away from home, going back to the Alliance. It is a huge freaking decision. If I'm a Bayern fan, if I'm a Bayern player, I'd be incensed. <laughs> I'd be incensed. That is a crazy, crazy explanation. That is a crazy explanation. Like, if I'm Chefren, you can't be allowed to ref again. No way. No, I'm sorry you can't. <laughs> to not make a call of penalty and see that after you, the man, blew the whistle and you saw what was happening, you acknowledged what happened and your explanation is it was a kid's mistake? No. You're done for this UEFA season. You can't be allowed to ref any UCL games. That's crazy. Now, guys, I'm a fair man. I'm a fair man. At first glance, I thought it was a penalty. I thought it was. So when I first saw it, I thought it was a penalty. Guys said, no, no, no. I watched it again. I thought it was a penalty. And this is how crazy it is. I saw because it's, 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 it's flipped. So, so normal motion. Saka's running. Noya has his leg there. Obs obstructs Saka from going around him to put it in an empty net. It was a penalty. And I was like, why didn't you go too far? Um, for this, because we have seen Bruno Fernandes United penalties being given after the referee has blown the whistle. So I thought that once the referee blows the whistle, that signals the end of the game. But as we saw with United and Bruno Fernandes, they literally were given a penalty after the game and after the referee had blown his whistle because you just go to VAR. So as I say, I say, VAR, why didn't you view this? So at first glance, I thought, I was like, no, it's, it's, it's a penalty. It's a penalty. Arsenal should have been given a penalty in the final minutes. And that would have been crazy based on what happened to Bayern has been given a penalty and then they win the game 3-2. Um, but I watched it in slow motion. Now, normally how it works is when you watch it in slow motion, it's a lot worse and, it's, and it's, it's, it's favors, um, the attacking team and it goes against the defensive team. So I was like, okay, slow motion, it will look even worse. I watched it in slow motion. And Saka, you messed up. If Saka was looking for the contact, so he planted his leg. No one just plants his leg there. And Saka's like, oh, your leg is there. Let me put my right leg there. Saka, ignore where Noe is. Go around him. And it's an empty net. You see, 
The thing there for Saka is that you're just assuming that the referee will give it once he sees concept. But you're still playing a numbers game. You go around him, the only person near you there is the licked. As soon as you go around Noya, you are starting to get into an empty net. And it is 100% a goal. You win the, the game. So for Saka, you actually messed yourself up. Because by planting your right leg where Noya's right leg was, you mess up the opportunity of, forget Noya, go around him, there's an empty net. The, as the is, is our approach, he's not going to get there before you. Left, or especially on your left foot, it's a goal. You win the game. So viewing it in slow motion, I'm like, no, I'm not, I want to give it. Because in slow motion, I'm seeing that Saka is looking for the contact. Noya is not initiating the contact, and Saka is, sort of, is, is pretty much running into him. You see, if there was a case where Saka's path was being obstructed by Noya, boom, but it wasn't. Saka had a path, but then he then put his right leg there. So no, you are not being obstructed on your path towards goal, which is where you should be going. Your path should be towards, towards goal. So I wouldn't give it, but, but that's me. <laughs> that's me. I'm not the referee. Nine times out of 10, 98% of the time, when a referee goes to VAR, sees it in slow motion under many angles, he does give it. So in my view, if let's say the referee was going to VAR, most likely he would, he would give it. Me, I wouldn't give it, but that's just me. Because this, this, no, this, no, this is gray area. This is not this not black and white. So unlike the Bayern call with the Gabriel handball, this wasn't black and white. This, as I said, I wouldn't give it. But another referee would say, nope, Noya, you obstruct him, you block him, you, you plant your leg there. I feel you initiated the, the contact. I think it's a foul. So this is a, this is a gray area where it could go either way. However, I'm sorry, this isn't a gray area. This is just class A brick ref referee. It's just class A brick ref referee, man. Um, look, I would say that this is like 55, 45 in favor of Bayern, you know? Both sides can feel that we got screwed over by the ref. I feel Bayern got screwed over a lot more by the ref than Arsenal did, but 2-2. Two -two. And I think 2-2 two -two is a fair reflection of the game. I think the game, it did feel even enough to be a 2-2. Two -two. Bayern, defensive, counter-attack, Arsenal being the guys initiating the, initiating the attack, but I don't think they did enough to be winners of the night. So it sets things up very well in the second leg. If you're Bayern, you're in a great position. Backs against the wall. You're about to see Leverkusen win the Bundesliga. You're not in the DFP poker. All you need to do is beat Arsenal in 90 minutes in front of your home crowd, your home fans who were not there in North London, just beat them and say, what's up? For Arsenal, if you feel, no, we are the better team. We can play better. We can do better against a team out of form. We believe that we can go to the Alliance and get a result. So if Arsenal plays the capabilities and the team as a whole plays to a high level, I think they can beat Banner the Alliance. I think they can beat Banner the Alliance, or it can go all the way to, to penalties. So, but whatever the case may be, it's set up great. So, I think to be a very exciting second leg. I think for Real and City, I think that's already over. Shh, don't tell any Real fans that's already over. This, this, as I said again, I'm saying 55 45, but if you want to say 51 49 in favor of Bayern, I'll, I'll be with you. You know, you know what? You know what? 51-49. 51-49. I'm probably much more closer to that. 51-49. So I just think Ban just about to put it is razor thin close as to where this can go, man. All right, guys. Peace out. Stay true. Like, subscribe. One love.